It's days like this. Days like today when I try <clears throat> Days like today when I try to soak it all in. This film came from a really weird time in life for me. Burnout's a real thing. Like it, it sneaks up on you and it, you never know when it's going to happen. I also am extremely good at just falling in love with one idea and just giving it everything I've got and just putting all my time and energy into it. I just like wake up one morning and if it might sound funny to me or look funny or I'm just not feeling it that day, I just freak out and I just throw it all away. Okay, you know, just a little post-production behind the scene. What a, what a product. My chair is missing one, one wheel. I figured since, you know, uh, the film's already like 25% of the way edited, and, uh, now would be a good time to uh, film the behind the scenes. What is in a dog's mind? It's a beautiful piece of cinema and comedy. It's what happens when someone allows organic inspiration and just commits to it and follows through. It's something that just anybody can sit back, watch, and enjoy. And isn't that what it's all about? I came up with the idea in May and then in June had a really rough first draft whipped up and then shot everything with ice in that same month. And from the end of June to November, uh, I just worked with John weekly on, you know, little little bits of dialogue and scenes and thinking or asking him what, you know, he would visualize in a moment like this. And John just really helped me make sense of everything. He would also just bring like such creative humor to the whole process that really kept me alive throughout it. Um, like he was a huge help. With Michael, it's never a steady flow, a river. It's more like you're in the ocean and you're, you know, up to your knees and you're looking back at the beach and everything's pretty calm and then all of a sudden, a big old wave hits you. A wave of 25 texts in the middle of the night and he's on a tear. Um, but. Yeah, it was a blast. Uh, he had some really great ideas, some awesome ideas that I got to play with and take in some strange directions. Bringing Andre on to help me just visually keep this story fresh and interesting. Um, and he just, he blew it out of the water with the photography. Like it, I, I couldn't imagine it without his photography. I would try and put myself like outside my comfort zone as much as possible and just see what I was feeling in those moments, like if I could pull from anything. Um, and if I didn't necessarily like, like a situation, then it honestly just kind of like made me want to get back to my desk and working on this project even more to keep myself from doing the same thing over and over again. We definitely got chaotic every now and then throughout this process, but sometimes chaos helps. Like, chaos with the people that you love sometimes works out in a really twisted, fun way.
in the dog's mind. Did you come? In the dog's mind. I'm letting him lose. I'm letting him lose. This is marketing, bro. This is marketing at its best.